But I think for me this is, was an interesting place to start because it's all drawn from uh, material that we would all be really familiar with. It's all stuff from our lives that has been sort of, you know, co-opted, uh, manipulated and then turned into something, something else. Um, yeah. Also, uh, yeah, DIY aesthetic, and um, but also for me, it speaks a lot about nostalgia because most of the objects from this um, period of show is sort of, I'd say, 70s through 80s, you know, which is Dan's childhood as well. So it kind of locates it in a time period. But in terms of, I mean, art now, contemporary artists work with found materials and objects. Sure, sure. Yes, fair enough. Yep, yep. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. But that's, but that's always interesting, I think, because you do get artists who do polarise opinion, and I think Dan is one of those. There are people that are complete fans and are really interested in this particular area of, of exploration and, um, and, and do find you know, the meaning that creeps out sort of through an investigation of it. You know. so, but I take what you're saying, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what I'd like to do now is, if, is sort of shift our focus into the Fiona Connor um, exhibition, which would just need to then gather around um, this app. It's quite different to the original uh, work in some ways. It's not, it's not exactly the same work. We see here a picture of the work that she was nominated for, which was called Something Transparent, Please Go Round the Back at Michael Lett Gallery um, up on K Road, where Fiona replicated the uh, window construction and the, 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 the you know, opening, opening office hours, the door handles, the scuffs on the skirting board, the kind of K Road uh, grime that accrues um, to any surface. Um, but because this was such a significantly so tied to sight, the whole idea of importing 14 sets of Michael Lett's windows into the Auckland Art Gallery would have been pretty strange, wouldn't really have worked. So even though um, with the Walters Prize people are invited for a particular body of work, I think there's been a very nice spot of lateral thinking that's gone on here and actually invited Fiona to approach this site, this space, um, with a work um, that has the same kind of intent as this one here. So we see here a space, our position, our um, progress into this space has been blocked by um, these remakings of the architectural metal girders um, and the uplighters um, that are the nature of the fabric of this building. And what's quite interesting with this building generally is that when you look at sort of eye level, you see a lovely clean white space, but as soon as you start looking up, um, the age and the history of the building starts to become much more evident. And the fact that this is an old industrial building, it used to be the telephone exchange. Um, so this was never a purpose-built gallery, it's been adapted. So what Fiona's done is um, just dropped the girders down to floor level, so completely changed our understanding of kind of architectural space. Our world hasn't been turned upside down, but it has been dropped by about three and a half metres. But what's extraordinary, and this is where you can get up a bit close, um, is to actually see how she has, the lengths that she has gone to, to mimic um, the girders here in um, MDF, but there's no metal in, in the making of these, of these objects. Um, it's, as it says there, MDF 
plywood, plastic and acrylic. Um, but the degree of detail that Fiona has gone to in terms of making it feel like there's some kind of strange doubling that's at play is fascinating. There's two uh, viewpoints, this one here and then a smaller aperture around the side. We've got a sign here saying no entry, um, but it's tempting, isn't it? Um, because it does, it makes you feel a bit like a kid in a playground. You want to go and scamper, because we're not really going to be given the opportunity to scamper across the roof trusses terribly often. Um, so it really kind of privileges, oddly, our kind of perspective, uh, our human perspective, because now we are, in a way, in a roof space. I find, I find Fiona's work really fascinating and um, for me it's both the combination of the conceptual idea but also how she manifests it and the level of detail that she goes to to make the conceit believable. Any, any thoughts or feelings about Fiona's work? So you know you see here huge contrast, both artists looking very, very carefully at our current physical world, things that may or may not um, be uh, overlooked or uh, not accorded with great kind of um, value or respect, um, but really honing in on um, yeah, things that can shift our perception quite dramatically. Yes, well it's, it's, a, it's a simple premise. And sometimes uh, the simple things can be the most rewarding, but equally it would, I would argue it would be really easy for this work to not work for, or to fall flat um, or for it to be oversimplified. But Fiona doesn't, doesn't take it into that territory at all. Um, and I think the correlation between this work and the one that was um, the basis on which you know, the, her nomination was, um, was fielded is very clever. But again, it's been polarising. I've heard people People say it's not the same work. How can it be in the Walters Prize? It's not the same work. Ditto Dan's work was um, added to. It's not the same work. Whereas for me, I think if the concept and the idea is consistent, because some things can't, you know, works may have been sold or not been able to be welcomed back into an installation, I'm, I'm probably a bit more okay with a little bit of a little bit of adaption, you know, but for me it's got to be the central thesis or point has to be the same. And also with this one, you literally couldn't get in the front door. You had to walk around the back of the building and go in the back door. And there's a lovely picture in the catalogue of the view from the back door looking out to the front fascia. So that notion of display of this being a shop front, you know, it was really beautifully inverted. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's a, but it's a chewy thing to kind of get, get, you, get your head around, really, because I think often people expect to see the imported exact same thing. But I, I agree, Ron. OK, what I'd like to do now is perhaps if we could go into um, the Alex Monteith work for no more than five minutes, um, just so that you can get a sense of what it feels like, particularly because most people haven't been into the show before. And then we'll, we'll, we'll join back out here again and, um, and we'll have a good, good, good sort of little, little discussion about it and then on to Saskia's. We can finish with some beautiful paintings, seen as we started uh, in, in the sort of rough and tumble of Dan's work.